Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Lanka Kitchen. In today's video, we are not going to see any recipes. Instead, we are going to see how to do a simple manicure at home with French nail tips. So let's get into the video. To do this as a first step, I have taken a bowl of lukewarm water. Make sure it's not too hot because we are going to soak our hands into that water. And first of all, I'm going to add a tablespoon of rock salt or a coarse salt. It will help you to remove all the dirt and the stains in your nail and also it will help us to get a very smooth skin. Then add few pumps of a body wash, whichever the flavor that you like. And also I have taken a whole lime. Lime will help us to increase the vitamin C in our nails that will reduce the fragile property of the nail and also it will make your nail very strong and if you have a pale nail it will help you to make your nail more stronger as well. Once everything is added properly make sure that you soak your hands about 20 minutes and take half of the lime peel and rub it in your cuticle area including the nails. So this will help us to make our cuticle soft and also we can remove the cuticles easily. And take the other half of the lime and then rub it in your palms and the skin of your hands because if you have a pigmentation it will help you to reduce that too. And the next step I'm taking a body scrub and I'm going to scrub it all over the palm area and like in the hands so it will reduce all the dead skins and we are like kind of massaging it so you are increasing the blood circulation and make sure that you are very gentle with your hands because they are very soft. As an optional step you can also go for a hand pack but I have skipped that step but it's optional for you if you'd like to go for it and once everything is washed properly make sure that you have a clean towel and rub it off and wipe all the moisture and the wetness in your hands because we are going to apply a good amount of a hand serum or an essential oil because we need to lock that moisture in your hands so that your hands will not get dry and you will not get the dry skin above your sensitive area so make sure that you do not skip this step you can also apply baby oil but do not apply it in the nail area because we are going to work with that in latter part so now i have taken a cuticular pusher so make sure that you be very gentle with it because now all your skins are very soft as we soaked it into the water make sure that you have the cuticular pusher like in 90 degrees in your hands and then push the cuticle very gently and then we are going to remove all the dead cuticles around that nail area so the reason behind doing this step is to make your nails more healthier than ever before and also it will promote your nail growth very quickly. Here you can see some amount of dead cuticles that I have removed from her thumb finger. So likewise I'm going to do that for all the 10 fingers and you all can see that in the video. In case if you had the old nail polish in your nails, make sure that you remove it using a nail polish remover before doing this step because she didn't have any so I have skipped that step. After removing the dead cuticles, there will be some amount of skins in the nail bed area. So you need to use a scissor or this kind of a cutter to remove that skin. If not, you can also use the cuticle remover like this to remove that area as well. But you need to be very careful because this is kind of a blade and you may cut yourself. So be aware and be gentle with your nail bed area. After we remove all the skins around the nail bed area, now it's time for us to shape our nails. So if you have a well-grown nails, make sure that you cut it and then shape it. So that's much easier. Since she had very short nails, I have used the nail shaper and her nails are a little softer. So I have used a very fine nail shaper. In case if you have very strong nails, you can go for a coarse nail shaper as well. Because if you use a coarse shaper in the soft nails, it may break. So be aware. And then you can shape it into any shape that you like as coffin oval round or a square shape here I have went with a little ovular shape so that it will look perfect with a French nail tip 
if you are a person like me who doesn't have much longer nails so you can paste fake nails after this step so if you want to know how to paste fake nails with your own nail make sure that you comment in the comment box below so that I will make that video in the future and I'll show you all how I paste fake nails in my own nail because I'm a person who bite and peel off my own nails. Personally, I am currently working on this nail biting situation to overcome but if you are a person who already overcame about the situation, make sure that you comment in the comment box below on what you did to overcome this situation and it may help everyone else who is currently facing this situation. Alright, after so much of shaping and trimming, now the nails look perfect and they all are in the similar shape. I'm going to take this kind of a brush and I'm going to dust off all the small nail particles. You can also use a towel to remove this, but these nails, uh, these brushes are very easy to work with. And also I'm taking small amount of rubbing alcohol to clean your nails so that the oils and the moistures will be removed and it will be easy for us to apply the nail coat. Now I'm taking the nail base coat. So base coat is really helpful if you you are applying it before you apply any polishes because it will help your nail bed area to not to affect by the chemicals in the nail polishes after applying the base coat I'm gonna cure this under the LED lamp for about 30 seconds if you don't have one do not worry you can also air dry it and then once after we cure that we are going to apply the French manicure nail tip because this is very easy and helpful for us to apply the white nail tips if you don't have one you can also use the normal cello tip or kind of a gum tape for making that tip make sure that you press off that edges very well because those are very important for us to get the very sharp edges using our white nail tips so make sure that you press it using a tool or maybe your hand nails everything will work fine once we are done with the nail tips so now we are going to apply a coat of white nail polish you can take any kind of a nail polish gel polish or a water polish would be fine so apply it in the first coat and then you're going to keep it for some time to dry and then we can apply the second coat later but do not wait until it dry for so much then it will be very difficult for you to remove the tape and sometimes it may peel off the nail polish too so make sure that you are peeling off your tape while the nail polish is 80 percent dry Apply the first coat and wait until it's completely dry and then apply the second coat. After I applied the second coat, I have cured this under the LED lamp for about 60 seconds and then I have removed the tips very gently using a tweezer. In case if you are using hands to remove the tape or the sticker, make sure that you are very careful because the nail polish is not completely dried. Sometimes you may spoil the design. Once after everything is removed, I'm using this kind of a brush dipped in the nail polish remover to clean the edges and to correct all the mistakes and the sides that we have done in all the fingers. Now those little white tips are looking so lovely and attractive. It's our last step to apply the top coat to our nails. So top coats are very important for us to protect that design for so long and make sure that you cure it under the LED lamp. In case if you don't have one, make sure that you air dry it without disturbing it because it is a kind of a thick consistency and it may ruin your flow as well and once after we done with everything I'm applying a homemade cuticle oil mixture of a castor oil and a vitamin E oil and rub it in your cuticle area because it will moisture your cuticle area and it will give you a very shiny nails as well last but not least we have to apply a good amount of moisturizer i'm using a baby cream today you can apply any kind of a body lotion or a hand cream to look up that moisturizer so that's all for today's video with our manicure and a perfect simple french tips if you like this video please do smash that like button and comment on the video do share it with your friends and family and thank you so much for watching till the end i will see you soon with some other interesting video till then bye bye from me madhuri